Hi guys, I'm Austin from Mobile Heart. Today I'm going to share to you my experience on Ori Toys, as it ran the last line of defense designed by Kidlo, Flame Trooper, which is part of Omega Military. This is a 4 inch scale or 3 to 4 inch scale action figure. And as the name mentioned, that is this is part of one of the faction of Manga Military. I've already shared to you guys this guy before. Alright. It's one of the faction and there are other guys that has been released called Agurts, which is the other faction. You have Bob and the Bugs and other releases. So let's take a look at the packaging first. This is the current standard of Acid Rain 4 inch scale packaging style with the artwork at the front. Okay. Um, the insignia or manga military, this is I believe is being drawn by Kidlaw himself. Which is cool, Orito is Chronix, uh, Flame Trooper, 180 scale, fully weathered, yes, yes. Right now, and these days they came, they come with, uh, with this kind of box, plastic box, solid, and it's very cool to keep your sim figure or to bring it somewhere for outdoor photography. So, that's about it with the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Let's start with the gas mask. Uh, it's very similar to what the other Omanga military, just slightly different in mold. Uh, let's start with the hat. It's detachable, the helmet. And it's kind of rubbery as always, but very solid with a bit of molded detail and orange washes. Yeah, very nice. I like the oranges. Mm, there's no pack, there's no pack hole. You can just attach it on the head just like that. And then this is the actual head and the gas mask. Mm, I like the visor. Okay, we got the linings here. Very nice. Now coming down as always with Omanga, this is the actual body. There is no fast, there's no actual body inside. This is the actual body itself. Uh, with a bit of orange touches, uh, it's very apparent because of the gap there. It directly shows the joint inside. It may not be very visible from the camera, but it's there. Uh, the shoulder pad is the, the design is similar to what we have with Omanga and the other Omangas. Uh, we have the gap in the middle like that, and the design is the same. It is attached. It it provided. Uh, Pack hole so that the pack, the, the ball pack from the arm can just goes uh, goes through and hold it tight in there, and it will still follow the joint. So that's the cool part of it. At the back you have this hole, which you can attach the pistols. By the way, uh, this is the same gun that we have with the Abaddon Trooper. Very much similar, probably. Yeah, uh, a bit diff. Probably no, not much differences at all. I don't see any much differences apart from the weathering, and it still have the back and the side, which you can attach to your figure here, just like this. Okay, and it works just with the other, just like the other figure. You can hold it with both hands easily. So I'm not going to play with that. Uh, I like the orange touches here and there. The molded detail is nice. The belt with orange touches is on a separate piece. There's a peg hole at the back as always. Okay, so that's the peg hole. Uh, so basically the belt can fly around. You can take it out if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. There's no point in doing that. I'll just put back the, the peg hole on at the back to the peg hole so that it will the belt will be secure. Okay, in some cases, uh it may be loose, but thank goodness this, this one works fine. And the legs, I think it's very similar to what we have with the Abaddon. Very similar mold. All across. Yeah, just a little bit of orange touch here at the boot. So it's very similar. Right, so apart, apart from this, I think the highlight for the Flame Trooper is that 
we have the actual flame trooper. Sorry, the flame trower. Flame trower. This is a flame trower. I like the mold here. Um, looks metallic. Looks bronze to me. Very nice. With the hole, which I'm not sure how it is, uh, what it is meant to be, because I don't see anything to put on there. And you see, there's a there's a back here, which will attach to the back of the figure. And so, so that's where the the insignia is. Normally, each unit has their own insignias or logos painted on the armor. So that's where it is. So I like that this is the tank of the flame tower, and I like the fact that this is actually feels die cast to me feels cold and solid which is nice awesome the part of the nozzle here and attaches securely to this piece of plastic flame thrower which will demonstrate now to attach it I think the easiest way is to remove the whole head if possible and you can just slide it on just like that and make sure the back part attached to the back hole to add more security all right so it's quite secure it is attached to the back and the grip on this on the rubbery part part will hold it securely and we can just put back the head on now i'm very thrilled to see how the articulation goes with this i mean with additionally there are there are rooms for the leg articulation to move on uh whereabouts to move but we will see with this all right anyway to use this flame trower we can just put it on his hand okay a bit tough to put it on camera but it works it's not that hard and it's very easy and it's secure very well it will holds very tightly and we can just put the other arms to somewhat grab it so if we look back at the artwork of the packaging this is how they normally I mean the flame trooper normally uh, grab the flame trower on this handle which is work very well so at least it can work you can uh, put it on both arms and I like the fact that the nozzle is very secure on both sides uh, either side on the trower and on the tank which is cool because oh, Often times, and it pick, uh, when it can be taken off, it's just troublesome for me. So this this way is much better actually. Very nice. For the articulation, I'll try to do it with the tank, with the flamethrower on. So we'll see how how the articulation goes with it. Okay, the head is on ball joint, which attaches to the neck joint, which also a ball joint. So uh, we have this much going down going up surely will be hindered because of the tank at the back uh, it's supposed to have full rotation but actually not bad all right a bit side to side I guess yes but not so much but it's there you know that the joints are there to help that and then this arm is on a ball hinge joint so you can go up this much notice that the shoulder pad kind of is very rubbery so that's cool and by adjusting the hinge you can move it like that to the back good extension actually and full rotation although there is a tank at the back okay you have rotation on the bicep which is cool you have this much elbow band okay no rotation here 
the rotation is up here at the bicep and you have wrist rotation and you have the hinge there which allow you to move up and down and yes there is another one on this side as well so it's similar uh, full rotation uh, you have that ball joint to the front on that waist on that belly to the back that much not bad actually kind of side to side and full rotation actually that's cool uh, it's a ball joint so you have front kick back kick not bad oh that's good uh, you don't really have a split but you can still do open leg position and you have rotation up here okay this move and that that part doesn't move and then you have ratcheting and uh, ratcheting knee this much very nice um, as always as it ran standard you have rotation here you have upward ratcheting downward ratcheting and you have angle pivot so that's nice. This is a very nice feeling of the articulation. Cool. Yeah, while I'm playing with the flame trooper, I realized that I may have missed the rotation on the bicep as also on the ribbon trooper. It has rotation on this side. So there's a small joint which attaches uh, on that black part there. Here it doesn't move, but this will rotate. Okay, so that's one one thing, and then another part which I haven't shared is that this part of this figure can be open to reveal the inner part here. So it's cool to have this feature on this figure. Okay, kind of missed that. I'm sorry about it, but uh, it's cool, and it attaches with the four pack with the four pack holes there. It will attach very easily just like that okay in case I forgot to mention this in my previous video this figure stands for roughly 4 inch yeah to the top of his helmet is 4 inch so it's a good measurement and let's try to pose him with the wing trower on not the easiest thing to do on camera, but let's try to do it. Okay, here he is with the flame trower on, with both hands. Very cool. This is the Abaddon Trooper beside him. You see the similarities. I think the belt they're using is also the same. The belt pouches is just different pin. And this is with the uh, Reborn Trooper. Um, this is compared to a Marvel Universe figure. Well, Bob is very much similar. Star Wars is generally smaller. We all know that. And yeah, so overall, I really like this figure. I like the die cast part on the nozzles. I like the orange touches uh, basically I like working accessories and I have I like the options that we have with this rival so overall it's very cool I said rain has never disappointed me so far so it's been a very good collection of figures and vehicles which I'm going to share surely uh, in the next videos so thanks guys for watching I'm Austin from my boy at heart subscribe to the channel like the video Goodbye.